In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. Dear friends, we meet today in the name of our risen Lord, who knows our every need, who hears the cries of our hearts, who feels our deepest pains, and who heals our wounds. Amen. Amen. In Christ Jesus, God's love is made fully known, and through Christ's passion and resurrection, we are healed and brought to new and abundant life. We now offer ourselves to God in faith, renewing our confidence and trust in his inexhaustible mercy. A moment for self-examination and reflection. God of mercy, Lord of our life, you are tender towards your children, and your mercy is over all your works. Embrace us with your love, heal the memories of hurt and failure, bind up the wounds of past mistakes, and by your forgiveness make us whole. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love toward you, we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Is it for the beginnings? reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was looking after the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, priest of Midian. He led his flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Heron, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the shape of a flame of fire, coming from the middle of a bush. Moses looked. There was the bush blazing, but it was not being burnt up. I must go and look at this strange sight. Moses said, and see why the bush is not burnt. Now, the Lord saw him go forward to look, and God called to him from the middle of the bush. Moses, Moses, he said. Here am I, he answered. Come no near, he said. Take off your shoes, for the place on which you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he said to me. He said, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And this Moses covered his face, afraid to look at God. And the Lord said, And now the cry of the sons of Israel 
has come to me. And I have witnessed the way in which the Egyptians oppress them. So come, I send you to Pharaoh to bring the sons of Israel, my people, out of Egypt. Moses said to God, who am I to go to Pharaoh and bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt? I shall be with you, was the answer. And this is the sign by which you shall know that it is I who have sent you. After you have led the people out of Egypt, you are to offer worship to God on this mountain. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the Son The Lord is compassion and love. The Lord, the Lord is compassion, compassion and, love. and love. My soul, give thanks to the Lord. All my being, bless his holy name. My soul, give thanks to the Lord. And never forget all his blessings. The Lord, Lord is his compassion and love. And love. It is he who forgives all your guilt, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. The Lord Both is compassion and love. The Lord does deeds of justice gives judgment for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to Israel's sons. The Lord is compassion and love. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I learned a new word recently. It may be one that you know, or may be new to you. Fubbing. Have you heard of the term fubbing? The term comes from a combination of the word phone and snobbing. Fubbing. So literally snobbing someone whilst using your phone, sort of talking to them, I guess, while you're kind of doing this, you know. We've all done it and we've all had it done to us. And it's such a widespread activity that the Cambridge Dictionary has a description for the term fubbing. The act of ignoring someone you are with and giving attention to your mobile phone instead. <laughs> And I read recently that a nursery school in the US recently put a very strongly worded notice up outside their nursery saying this, get off your phone. Your child is happy to see you. Are you happy to see your child? 
We have seen children trying to hand their parents their work they've completed and the parent is on the phone. We've heard a child say, Mummy! And the parent is paying more attention to the phone and to their own child. This is appalling. Well, psychologists tell us that phone activity releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter that makes us feel good. I don't know why it does, but it does. And the phone is connected to it. And, and so that, that sense of um, well-being that it gives us can easily become a habit, something that takes a priority over everything, uh, an idol, if you like. It is very difficult these days to pay full attention because modern life just doesn't leave us alone. The email, the WhatsApp, the text, the Facebook, the Twitter and the Instagram, the news update, breaking news. Even when we turn it all off, we know that it's churning away there when we turn it back on again. But paying real attention is the key to so much. It's the key to successful relationships, to engaged worship, to consciousness of the world around us. And it's what really helps people. The one-to-one -one of friendship and pastoral ministry, therapy, and even shopping. When somebody really pays us attention, listens to us, it makes the world of difference to our sense of self. And it's actually healing that when we have that person's full attention. And today we have the wonderful story of Moses and the burning bush. And apparently the rabbis of old who commented on this account from Exodus, they suggested that lots of other people passed by the burning bush while it was burning, but only Moses turned aside. He paid attention. He stopped what he was doing. And it was probably only a low-lying thorn bush. Unremarkable except for what God was doing at that moment through this thorn bush, filling it with flame and radiance. A way of getting Moses' attention. The whole world is a fire with the wonder of God's love and beauty. But often our attention is diverted to so many other things and we miss the burning bush. Life is full of miracles. It's full of holiness. The ordinary is extraordinary. If we have eyes to see and we make the time to pay attention. And one of the greatest English poets Elizabeth Barrett Browning, who was married in this church, she wrote this. Earth's crammed with heaven, and every common bush a fire with God. But only he who sees takes off his shoes. The rest sit round it and pluck blackberries and daub their natural faces unaware. In today's Gospel, Jesus, as he often does, talks of spiritual awareness in terms of being childlike, noticing things, a simplicity of engagement, being in the moment, rather than being distracted by many things. And I had a little example of that yesterday when I was sitting with my grandson He's trying new bits of food. And it's wonderful to see how babies are so focused on things that are just so ordinary to us. But a, a little bit of salmon, he was 100% involved in eating that. So may God give all of us the focus of full attention and rapt contemplation childlike, being in the moment, so that we too may turn aside and experience God's glory in the everyday. Amen. Amen. Amen.
the Spirit and in union with Christ. Let us pray to the Father. Lord, we thank you when your glory comes into our lives. We pray that we may have the grace to notice, that we may have the time to stop and stare and see where you are working in our lives, in the lives of other people and in your world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray that we may be people who take time to stop, to listen to one another, listen to what God is saying in our lives. We pray that we may be aware of you, our great God, that we can be in the moment with you and remember all the wonderful things that you have done and do in us, through us and for us. And as we are in the moment with God here in prayer, we bring before you countries of the world, especially the way they're suffering at the moment with excess heat. We bring before you the effects of climate change. And we think of those people who are trying to do something about it. bring organisations like Just Oil which have their hearts in the right place praying for our governments in all that they do for sustainable energy praying for our National Health Service and all it does to help each one of us and all those that we know giving thanks for it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for the churches in this area, for Sarah Bishop of London, Archbishop Justin, Pope Francis, patriarchs of the Orthodox Church, those who lead our reform to free churches, and for the local churches around here, Catholic, Methodist, and for the Cathedral Church of St. John the Baptist, Kagira in Tanzania. We pray for the rebuilding of St. Mark's Hamilton Terrace and for Mother Kate and all the congregation. And as we continue thinking about that spiritual awareness, we pray for your peace in our lives, but praying for the peace of Jerusalem, praying for those who are persecuted for their faith throughout the world, praying for peace among the nations, particularly Ukraine, pray for Russia, for the Sudan, for the Yemen, pray for the Ouija people, all those who are persecuted in any kind of way. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. And we bring before you those who are homeless, for migrants, displaced peoples. We pray for those who have been brought to this country to be active slaves for those bosses in other countries. We pray for their well-being and we pray for a way for them to break out of this modern slavery. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks in this church for all who work in the GP surgery, um, in the psychotherapy centre, for all, all people involved in the wholeness and healing that Christ brings to others and for our hospitals, all who work there. 
pray for our clergy, for Father Stephen Rector, Father Stephen Chaplin, for Mother Katie, and for Father Robert. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all people who are sick and who are suffering today. Pray for healing and wholeness for Peter and Ted, Barry and Paul, for Loretta and Vidu, for Arta and Maria, for Dr. Yen and Hay, for Caroline and Peter, for Graham and Leah, Felix and Giboyiga, also for Kaliki Guliki, also for Charmaine, Nicola and Marlette, for Yvette, Anne and Caroline, Liz and Cicely, Mary, Carol, Susan and Claire. And we bring before you this special petition um, and for prayer for Reverend Dean Nelson. Pray for this cancer scan he's going to have soon. And we pray, Lord, if this is your will for his healing and wholeness, for the Holy Spirit to come upon him and bring him that. For the sake of his congregation and his family, for his three children, praying for special strength and faith for his wife, Julia. And we bring before you all those uh, suffering from cancer. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Also praying for those who died recently and gone before us in the sign of faith, for Christine and Alex, Gress, for Billy, Ken and Jane. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and, and the light of the shall shine upon them. Also praying for Gertrude Crossfield, Colin Carr, for Jean Lucy, Isaac, Adi Makinwa, Annette Angus, Prince Tunje Adigun, whose anniversary of death occurs this week. May they rest in peace and, and rise in the glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so as we continue looking, Lord, and wanting to be with you, sometimes not knowing how to do that, but we pray that we may see the divine in the ordinary, and that we may have glimpses of your glory as we pray in a moment of silence. Merciful Father, accept Except these prayers, prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. May the glory of the Lord shine with you, and the peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also, also with you. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
it is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us upon the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will, and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. And so, Father, according to mind, his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection, and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy Christ kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Thou of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
Amen. God of our pilgrimage, you have led us to the living water. Refresh and sustain us as we go forward on our journey in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Almighty God, we, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we will offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Strengthen us in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And so we offer the label of hands with prayer for healing for ourselves or for another for whom we wish to pray. I'm going to begin by praying for those who are watching online. Come, Holy Spirit, in the name of God and trusting in his might alone, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you healing of body, mind and spirit, deliver you from every evil, and give you his peace. Amen. Amen.
stress from every problem, so healing your body, mind, and spirit can be the stress. God of all compassion, by the dying and rising of your Christ, you restore us to your yourself and follow us in your love. May we who have been refreshed with the bread of life and the cup of salvation be renewed by your Holy Spirit and made ready for the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be and also with you. God our Father, by whom we are called to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, and by paths as yet untrodden, give us faith to go out always and good courage, knowing that in the power of your Holy Spirit we are made strong and that your love will never fail us. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. God.